a member of the European airline conglomerate known as IAG, or International Airlines Group, Spanish carrier Iberia has over 80 aircraft in its mainline fleet, with more on the way. Established back in 1927, the airline will soon be 100 years old and primarily connects Europe with North America and South America. Today, we examine the carrier's fleet as it stands in 2023. At the time of this video's production, Iberia's all Airbus mainline fleet consists of the following types and quantities according to Planespotters.net. 6 A319 100s, 13 A320 200s, 15 A320 Neos, 11 A321 200s, 16 A330 200s, 8 A330 300s, and finally we have 16 of the airline's flagship type, the A350 900. The oldest aircraft in the mainline fleet are the A321s, which are on average close to 20 years old. The youngest type flying for Iberia is its A350, a fleet that is a little less than three years of age on average. While we will only examine Iberia's mainline fleet in greater detail, it's worth mentioning that the airline has two regional subsidiaries in the form of Iberia Express and Iberia Regional. Based in Madrid, Iberia Express is Iberia's low-cost regional brand that operates select short-haul services across Europe. Launched in 2011 by parent company IAG, the intention was to operate Iberia Express as a feeder airline for Iberia, particularly on less profitable routes. This is currently carried out with the airline's 24 Airbus A320 family aircraft and includes 14 A320 200s, 4 A321 200s and even 6 A321 Neos with more on the way. As for Iberia Regional, this is an airline brand name that primarily covers domestic flights within Spain which feed into Iberia's main network. We call Iberia Regional a brand name since its flights are actually carried out by other airlines with their own operator certificates. These include Mel Air and Air Nostrum and consist of aircraft types like the ATR-72 and Bombardier CRJ series. Finally, to make things just a little more complicated, we also have to mention that Iberia's mainline fleet numbers include four A330 200s flying under the Level brand. This is Iberia's long-haul low-cost airline subsidiary based in Barcelona with service to a handful of cities in North and South America. But getting back to the mainline Iberia fleet, its flagship Airbus A350 900 is the crown jewel of operations. Flying as far away as Lima, Peru, Santiago, Chile and Los Angeles, this aircraft type is tasked with operating many of Iberia's longer services. Mexico City is perhaps the most popular destination for Iberia, and the airline proves this by deploying three Airbus A350 services daily to the Mexican capital from its hub in Madrid. Iberia seems to be quite pleased with the A350. The airline initially ordered 16, but this was increased to 20 by 2022. At the moment, Planespotters.net data indicates that the airline is apparently expecting another 6 in addition to its current 16, making for a total of 22. While some of these yet-to-be-delivered aircraft will come brand new direct from Airbus, we can see that two A350s will come as leases that were previously under the care of Hainan Airlines. While the airline is pleased with the A350s, not everyone working for the carrier seems to be fully in love with the type, particularly its large and spacious overhead baggage compartments. In November 2022, we reported that a group of flight attendant unions filed a lawsuit against the airline. The unions demanded that Iberia refrain from requiring flight attendants to close the A350's large compartments, and while a judge dismissed the request, the airline was ordered to limit the weight of carry-on luggage instead. For reference, Iberia allows passengers seated in economy and premium economy to bring a carry-on bag at a maximum of 22 pounds or 10 kilograms, while business class passengers can bring up to two bags at a maximum of 30 pounds or 14 kilograms, depending on the length of the flight. 
the court also ruled that Iberia is to ensure that two crew members are present to close a bin if any flight attendants are 5 foot 3 inches or 1.63 meters or shorter. Overhead compartment legal issues aside, Iberia's A350s and their cabins have been getting makeovers in recent months. It was in December 2022 that the carrier unveiled a refurbished interior for the A350, affecting all classes of travel. Indeed, all cabin classes have been upgraded, with business class receiving the largest upgrades. Business class passengers and their new seats will have more privacy with a door for each seat and dividers between other passengers. The overhead bins have been removed from the middle section as well, giving the cabin an airier feel, although this comes at a cost to storage space. In premium economy, passengers have a little more privacy with the addition of fixed wings on either side of the seat. The wings also provide a fixed point for passengers' heads to rest against while sleeping. Finally, in both premium economy and economy, passengers will have new, larger in-flight entertainment screens. Screens are 1 inch larger, in premium economy 13 inches, while it's a 2 inch increase in economy up to 12. Notably, this is one of the largest screens found in economy class to date. While Iberia's A350s typically steal the spotlight, its Airbus A330 fleet continues to reliably operate long-haul services for the airline as well. Flying to destinations in North and South America, if a long-haul route isn't utilizing the A350, it's most certainly being operated by an A330. Interestingly, Iberia's A330 fleet is relatively young, despite all being from the previous generation of A330 aircraft. In fact, the A330s flying for level are between 4 and 5 years of age, while other mainline Iberia A330s are between 5 and 10 years old. Considering the first A330neo that entered service is now about 5 years old, we can see that Iberia took delivery of some of Airbus's very last A330COs ever produced. It's also interesting that Iberia has given up some of its older A330-200s, this was the result of a deal struck with the Spanish Ministry of Defense, which acquired three Iberia Airbus A330s for conversion to MRTTs or multi-role tanker transports. The deal was struck in July 2021 and was valued at 675 million euro or 768.5 million dollars. When it comes to Iberia's future fleet, we'll eventually see the carrier add the A321 XLR to its aircraft collection. In 2019, IAG signed an order with Airbus to acquire 14 Airbus A321 XLRs with purchase options for an additional 14 units. IAG said eight of these long-range narrowbodies would go to Iberia, while the remaining six would go to Ireland's Aer Lingus. Deliveries were initially scheduled for this year, and Iberia said last year that it expected its A321 XLR to arrive by the end of 2023. However, perhaps unsurprisingly, Airbus has had to adjust the A321 XLR schedule. The aircraft, now conducting its flight test campaign, hopes to secure type certification in 2023 and entry into service in 2024. While the A321 XLR will enable Iberia to operate new transatlantic destinations and increase frequencies in key markets, we're not sure where exactly the airline will deploy these long-range aircraft. And finally, let's take a look back at Iberia's recently departed aircraft, its fleet of Airbus A340s. While the airline had also operated the Boeing 747, these jets are long gone, having been retired in the early 2000s. The A340s, however, only left the airline as recently as 2020. On August 24, 2020, Iberia said goodbye to its last A340 an end to nearly 24 years of operations with the type. The airline initially said that its last five A340-600s were to retire in 2025. However, the pandemic turned Iberia's plans upside down and led to an abrupt end to A340 operations. The final Iberia A340-600 was registered Echo Charlie Juliet Lima Echo and joined the fleet in September of 2005 making it just under 15 years old at the time of retirement. 
Iberia had a total of 14 A340 600s in the fleet, which flew to destinations as close by as London and as far away as Santiago. The first Iberia A340 300 joined the airline in 1996, replacing the aging 747-200 and expanding the airline's fleet. The A340-600 first entered service with the carrier in 2003. The A340 was a significant part of Iberia's fleet and was the airline's only long-haul aircraft until the addition of the A330s and A350s. While many of these four-engine aircraft have since been scrapped, we know that three A340-600s made their way to UK-based freight and logistics company European Cargo. The ex-Iberia jets join other A340s that were previously operated by Virgin Atlantic and Etihad. So there's your look at the fleet of Iberia in 2023. The airline has clearly streamlined its operations by deciding to operate all Airbus aircraft. It'll be exciting to see what new destinations are offered with the new A321 XLRs once they arrive next year. But what do you think of Iberia's all Airbus fleet? Have you ever flown with the airline? Share your thoughts and experiences by leaving a comment. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.